I'm Ravi Roth and I am down under in Tasmania at Bonnarong Sanctuary, my first stop with my lovely friends, the Kangaroos. This is a 24 hour gay over of Tasmania. 24 hour gay over with Ravi around the world. After a sensible two hour flight from Sydney, Australia, I have arrived in Tasmania. When you visit this gorgeous state, I highly suggest staying at the capital city Hobart at the Tasman Hotel. It is giving luxury eleganza extravaganza. Following my seventh coffee of the day, let's learn what lights up the folks here in Taz A. What gives you life and energy about living here in Tasmania? The water, the mountains, and that sort of spiritual surrounding gives me lots of energy. There's so many great uh, food and wine, places all around um, Hobart where we are at the moment. So I love experiencing that. And I love the people. I feel like everyone is, we're all a little bit different here and we embrace that and we love it. It feels like a really genuine place. And you get some really genuine relationships. It's not too fast, but there's enough to do. The forests of Tasmania are extraordinary. The landscapes that we have and how different they are. There's wildlife, you're in touch with the trees. The people are so friendly here as well, which is just, just it's like a big local community. The clean air, the wide open spaces, the forests and the beautiful, beautiful ocean. Breath of fresh air to come down somewhere where people aren't trying to crawl over one another to get to the top or get to any level of success. It's a great level of community amongst especially our little midtown scene here in Hobart, but um, to come into that and to feel it firsthand, but also feel that it's still burgeoning and it still has a long way to grow is um, really refreshing. You come down here and it's rugged and you can see the coastline when you fly over it. It's like raw natural beauty. There's like an air to this place when you get off a plane, it's just completely blows you away by the smell of it, the cleanness of the air and the water. When I first came down here, I never wanted to leave. You can be up and out of the city and into the beautiful mountains and rainforests like within 25 minutes. Or you can be walking back alleys of Hobart and find a cool little bar that no one knows about. It's just alive, like there's just, everyone's living a artistic, authentic life. The proximity of everything and how, how amazing nature is down here and the wildlife down here is absolutely beautiful. Let's talk about what to pack. The weather has more personalities than I do, so bring layers. It's super hot during the day and it gets really chilly at night. Bring a tank top, bring a bathing suit. Bring your romper so you can dress like a kangaroo. Will I meet my next ex-husband here in Tasmania? <laughs> I don't know, there's a pretty thriving gay community down here, so potentially. And are you single or taken? Oh, I don't know, I'm worried where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> After that slight rejection, Let's see Tasmania. Today is gonna be a little something more. I've got a plan in mind, a special thing in store. The light bulb inside my head says, get out and play. Cause you never chat with Patrick Kelly, the CEO of Mona, to learn what this museum is all about. I, I think part of the mystery for us is we don't really know what it's about, but part of it is not telling people what good art is. It's you come and decide what you like and what you don't like. I think that's part of the fun of it. It's also, you know, as opposed to the white and light, we've got the dark and the cavernous. People get lost, they get mystified by it, some people get appalled by it, and it's all part of the mix that I think makes it a bit of a different museum. So Mona Foma originally came about to promote the museum before it opened, it was the catalyst for it, and it's just sort of lived on, and it's, you know, got a few little reincarnations along the way, and it's basically just a fun summer festival. Mona was a total slay. Now let's get into the food scene in Taz A. At Mona Museum, check out Source Restaurant with mouth-watering locally sourced vegetarian food. 
Visit Frogmore Creek Vineyards for exquisite wines and super innovative bites. Get brekkie at Little Poet, which has the best vegan egg and cheese I've ever had. Slide into Southeast Asian cuisine at Dana Eating House for dinner. What's so cool about this place is that a percentage of profit from each meal is donated to a series of rotating charities, literally defining what it means to pay it forward. Now let's sit down with Lucy Mercer Mapstone, the Vice President of Equality Tasmania, to learn about the queer history. So tell everyone what Equality Tasmania is all about. Equality Tasmania is about equal rights for the queer folks in Tasmania. So at the moment we have a great anti-discrimination act in Tasmania, but there's lots of ways that the law still discriminates against LGBTQI plus folks. And so our remit is to lobby and gather community and push for legislative change so that we can have the same rights. Basic human rights. Yay! Basic human rights. <laughs> can you walk me through a little bit of the history, the LGBTQ history here in Tasmania? So Tassie, for people who don't know, is a little island off the bottom of Australia. And we had the worst- Thank you, geography. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know when I first came, but Look, I was it's like, fine. where is it? We're often left off the map, so you know. Um, so we went from being the worst in terms of LGBTQI rights in Australia to the best. Um, so Equality Tasmania started in 1988 and our president, Rodney Croom, and um, what used to be called the um, LGBT Alliance, um, did a lot of radical protesting and one of were a major part in getting homosexuality decriminalized in Australia. Where is it not progressive and where do you want to see it move forward to? So one of the campaigns that we're actively working on at the moment is to ban conversion practices. So conversion practices, yeah I can see your face, um, conversion practices still actively happen in Tasmania. Um, they also happen around Australia but a number of states are further ahead than us in terms of banning the practices. Um, so we're working with victim survivors of conversion practices in Tasmania to lobby the government for legislative change and the Premier has committed to putting in legislation that ban conversion practices but now we need to make sure that it's really airtight. Diversity of the queer community down here, it's not big. There's not enough of us to form like little segregated communities. So when I lived in Sydney I didn't really fit into any of the like really defined stereotypical kind of tight communities whereas down here you can't like pick and choose right like we're all super inclusive and Tasmania has been said to be a really healing place and so I have seen a lot of queer folk move down here and find respite and build new community and new family and oh. that's what gives me joy down here. It really is a destination where you can live out loud and be your authentic unicorn self. Queerness exists everywhere. Let's talk about getting around Tasmania. Ubers, taxis, or if you're like me, a helicopter. Tasmania, you have been a whirlwind of a trip. From getting picked up in my first private helicopter, to exploring the vast wineries, to holding my first wombat, to learning how you're helping the world. I have fallen in love with you. You are innovative, you are creative, and you are super queer. Now, Tasmania was the last state in Australia to decriminalize homosexuality, and now has some of the most progressive laws in the country. Equality Tasmania has a huge hand in pushing forth change for the LGBTQ community. Now, this is the first episode I've ever done in my life where I don't venture out to a neighborhood because there isn't one here. Queerness just exists everywhere. Hitting up Monofoma at the Mona Museum was one of the most wild and zany moments I've ever experienced. It takes avant-garde to a whole new level. Thank you so much Tourism Tasmania and Monofoma for bringing me out here to get a taste of Tasmania. If y'all enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment below, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next adventure. I came here today, you know, dressing the part. Yep. I really have never seen a kangaroo. I wanted to blend in. Well, blend in. Mate, you're, you're doing a great job. Those <laughs> shoes are really helping you blend in. Have I a wanted, look at those I, bad boys. I really wanted to just like <laughs> be one with the animals today. Mm. So how am I gonna do with the kangaroos? Mate, look, red is just not their, not their color, I'm afraid. We're gonna have to do a little something. Where are you going this morning? Where are you guys going this morning? Where are you going this morning? I'm Robbie Roth, and I'm down under at Bonnerong. Bonnerong? Bonnerong. Keep it going. Just keep it going.